All right, thanks for watching and welcome to the delicious kitchen of Dr. Payam because today we'll calculate an integral over cannoli. In particular, let's calculate the triple integral of the function 3 over the region bounded by x squared plus z squared equals 4, y plus z equals 4, and y equals minus 1. So first of all, let's try to see what this looks like. And it does have a very interesting shape. We'll see. So this is x, y, z. Now, x squared plus z squared equals 4. Notice uh, there's no y. So in particular, what this means is just a cylinder in the y direction, kind of like this. Not, not quite, not an ellipse, but it's a cylinder. So x squared plus z squared equals 4. And then y plus z equals 4, what it is, it is a plane that contains the line y plus z equals 4. So it kind of looks like that. And the way to think about this is you have this bread roll, like this baguette, and you're trying to slice this diagonally. So what this looks like, if you slice it diagonally, kind of like this. And then finally, y equals 1, that's just a plane at minus 1. So that's so y equals minus 1. Well, I mean, more straight, but like this. y equals minus 1. And again, just think of slicing this bread uh, vertically like that. So what we end up getting is, again, this very nice cannoli shape, which looks like that. So again, here it's straight. Here it's slanted, and then here it's straight, and also here it's straight, which, in my opinion, looks very much like a cannoli. Like, this is the, the delicious crumble part. This is the uh, cream part. It's very, very good. And as usual, let me show you a nice computerized picture. So, again, we had this uh, cylinder x squared plus z squared equals 4 in the y direction. You cut it diagonally with y plus z equals 4, and you cut it straight with y equals minus 1, and you end up getting this shape, like this cannoli kind of shape. All right, that was the first thing. So draw a picture, and now what we want to do, we want to find inequalities. Again, ungleichung. And essentially, now notice, this is kind of cylinder put, you know, to sleep. So it is in the y direction. And usually what you want is z between small and big. But now the only difference is you want y to be between left and right. So y is squeezed between minus 1 and 4 minus c. And it is up and down if you tilt your head a little bit. So that's one thing. And then the next thing is find the region D, which is the region where, in this case, X and Z lie in. And what it is, usually it's the shadow below the surface, but now it's kind of the shadow to the left of the surface, kind of the left side of the cannoli. But using the fact that we have, I think, X squared, plus z squared equals 4, you essentially get that d is a disk of radius 2 in x and z. So if this is x and this is z, then a d shows this disk of radius 2, which we can conveniently write in polar coordinates as r between 0 and 2, theta between 0 and 2 pi. And lastly, remember we had this y, between minus 1 and 4 minus z, but here again you have to decide, do you want polar, do you want Cartesian? Well, here I think polar wings, so you have to write 4 minus z in terms of polar, which is just 4 minus r sine of theta. Because you see, z plays the new role of y here, so it is r sine of theta. And now we are ready to integrate. We have all the info that we need. So we need to calculate the triple integral of 3, dx, dy, dz. Well, first we did y. So y between minus 1 and 4 minus r sine of theta. And again, the function is 3, dy. And then r is between 0 and 2. 
And finally, theta is between 0 and 2 pi, so dr and d theta. And as is usual in polar coordinates, don't forget about the r, because a, uh, because a pirate says r dy dr d theta. By the way, what is a pirate's favorite amino acid? Arginine. I know, it's not a math joke, but it's so funny. Okay, and then uh, this becomes integral from 0 to 2 pi. Integral. <laughs> it doesn't want to decide. Okay, Inter come on, it's 98%. Okay, integral from 0 to 2. And then the nice thing is this does not depend on y. So it's just 3r times this minus this. So 4 minus r sine of theta and then minus minus 1 and then the r d theta. And well, this you can simplify. It just becomes 5 minus r sine theta. And then what we get is uh, integral from 0 to 2 pi, integral from 0 to 2 of 15 r minus 3 r squared sine of theta d r d theta. And sure, I mean, you can think, well, sine of theta becomes minus cosine theta, and that just becomes zero, but let's just uh, do it step by step. So then this becomes integral from zero to two pi, integral from zero to two, 15 r dr d theta, minus, so it's one plus integral from zero to two pi, integral from zero to two, minus three r squared, sine of theta, dr d theta. All right, and then for this integral, what's nice is that there's no theta, so 2 pi, and an antiderivative of 15 r, it's 15 halves r squared from 0 to 2. And here we can split up the integral, integral from 0 to 2 minus 3 r squared dr, integral from 0 to 2 pi sine of theta d theta. But the nice thing is, if you evaluate this integral, you essentially get zero. And so in the end, we're just left with this part. So two pi times 15 halves times four minus zero, and then this cancels out, and I think we get 60 pi. So a very pie-filled cannoli, very, very delicious. Mwah, buon appetito. All right, I hope you like this. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.